the man with the biggest neck in mixed martial arts history. Former Pride star Kazuyuki Fujita. The old iron head, they call him, a record of 15 and 8. Only fought once this year, a split decision loss to Blago Ivanov in August at Sengoku 9. In a long career, he's beaten the likes of Ken Shamrock, Gilbert Ival, Mark Kerr, James Thompson, Bob Sapp. Tough losses to Mark Coleman, Fedor, who he almost, almost beat in that epic matchup when he tagged him and had Fedor on rubber legs, staggering him with punches in their fight. Indeed, Fedor has said, Fujita was the only man to hit me right, and he hit me hard. An awesome record for one of the most awesome physical specimens in the world. On a seven fight undefeated streak in mixed martial arts. Coming off a first round of TKO loss to Bada Hurry in the K1 Grand Prix semi finals over two and a half weeks ago. The Strike Force heavyweight champion. He's been in the beach like Belfort, so that's the time of the Europe objection. Vegeta in less than three minutes. I don't think it's possible, but he actually looks bigger than the last time we saw him. Vegeta looks way more tan than we last saw. And uh, he looks a little heavier than the last time I saw him, too, and not in a good way. Super. You know, Fujita used to have a, a pretty quick shot. You know, he, you know, he'd shoot a, about a six-foot-long shot. Yeah, big tackle. He needs to do that again, baby, on this one, or it's going to be a three-minute deal, like uh, under three-minute deal, like Overeem said. Once again, the official attendance: forty-five thousand four hundred and six people here tonight at the Saitama Super Arena. It is Fujita and Overeem. Overeem, the outright favorite, minus 1150. Fujita, plus 650. Michael Chavello, Guy Mezga, Jason Mayhem Miller with you. Fujita circling. He cannot allow Alistair to come on the inside and drill the knees to the midsection or the head. Alistair is just a beast, just a monster. He looks like a friggin' superhero. Yeah, and you know what? He's pretty quick too for a guy his size. Yeah, you know, he yeah. was, you know, he used to be a light heavyweight and stuff, and he, and he moved well as a light heavyweight. And he moves real well as a, as a heavyweight too, especially for an MMA heavyweight. His deltoids are bigger than they were two and a half weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. I said he's actually bigger than the last time we saw him. That's the knee I spoke about. Alistair has done so much damage and knocked out so many opponents, none more so than Everton Teixeira in the K1 Grand Prix quarterfinals. Maybe the most devastating K1 knockout we've seen of the year. Yeah, it, it, he needed him and it looked like he killed him. High knee again from Alistair. Oh, rings the bell on <laughs> Fujita, who just shakes his head. Fujita circling the ring here on the outside. Alistair controlling center. Oh. That's it. Oh my goodness. Well, that was uh, much quicker than I thought. <laughs> Alistair lived up to his word. He said he'd finish Vegeta in under three minutes, and he did just that. Score another oh. victory there for Team Dream. We are now locked at four wins apiece, which means it's all up to either Mizuto Hirota or Shinya Aoki in our semi main event to win it for either Team Sengoku or Team Dream. Right, down to the wire. Wow, Fujita still laid out here as the ringside positions take a look at him. I think they're just making him stay there to, to check on his condition. I mean, that was a really, really hard beat. The question mark keeps getting raised, Guy, on message boards around the world. Where does Overeem go?
When is he going to fight Fedor? When is he going to be tested against a top-level competitor and not against someone like a Fujita? Well, it's not going to be here in Japan. I mean, you know, unless they get, unless they bring Fedor back here to Japan. This is not going to happen. He's, he's got, you know, he, he go to any of the American, uh, you know, he has to go to Strike Force or UFC. I'd love to see him face maybe Josh Barnett here in Japan. That, that, that would could be, be an option. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. But I think, you know, that, that would actually be a, an unbelievably good test for him if that, that happens. Vegeta took a knee. It was all over very quickly. As many of us expected. Yeah, I expected Vegeta to, to, to be a lot less tentative. I expected him to go flying across there and try to get that takedown. You know, he... That was the only way that that fight was going to be remotely competitive. Uberim finishes his year literally with a bang. It has been an awesome year in which he has shot to worldwide prominence. Maybe the most meteoric rise, exposure-wise, publicity-wise, of any fighter on the planet in 2009 was Alistair Overeem. Thanks to his participation in K1, his participation in Dream, and now his participation in the biggest event of all, Dynamite. I'll take Fujita out on a stretcher, which is something, Guy, you never want to see. No, never. Yeah, I mean, he uh, he's definitely hurt. Um, ouch. Right to the eye. Well, also, too, like that temple area. Oof. Getting hit in that temple is a dangerous place to get hit. Overeem, for me, has the most devastating knees in all of mixed martial arts. Oh, yeah. He yeah, knows how to lock them on from the clinch, and he knows how to throw them off of the clinch as well. Yeah, without a doubt. He's, he's definitely by far one of the better, one of the best, if not, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, 